Uh, here comes Sam running down the hall. Jack oh, Tober. Oh, damn it. I missed his funny feet. I'm too quick. Yeah. Mm. Sam, what's up, buddy? Not too much. Uh, we're taking a little uh, different approach with Jack Tober today, right? That's right. I spent yesterday listening to various uh, hit music stations, mm -hmm. and everyone's got baseball fever. Oh, really? Yeah. Baseball fever. That's right. Every how are they how are they expressing their baseball fever? Well, all our friends uh, in radio, our coworkers. Can you go, can you do this when you say friends? Quotation all our marks? friends and uh, and coworkers in radio. Yeah. Are they have their own parody songs that they're playing on their stations ah. like uh, every half hour or something? Like they're That's playing them all the time because they think they're really good. <laughs> they like them. Remember the famous one when we were at NEW, the... Hey, Joey Baseball. Oh, yeah. How you doing, man? Oh, hey, no. Not not. How great are the Yankees doing? Oh, no, forget about it. How you doing? <laughs> what a year it's been. My boy Chalut's called. He wants us to do a little something Chalut. special for the fellas. Yeah, wait a minute. This little ditty we're going to sing right now? Wait till you hear this. Like ten years ago. Yeah, and you talk baseball songs. This is right up there with the Super Bowl shuffle. Is it? I know. Pinstripes, thirty-five American League pennants, <laughs> twenty-four World Championships on the drive for twenty-five. How you doing? Oh, yeah, playing in the Bronx, in the house that Root built in New York City, the greatest city in the world. How you doing? <laughs> The reason the rest of the country hates New Yorkers is because of that type of that voice. Not for now. What's with the big shots with the cell phones and the suits? Please <laughs> give me the bleacher creatures any day. How you doing? That's right. How about Ooch? You had a day I'm on a floor train. There's a guy sleeping next to me. He's got Yankee tickets sticking out of his pocket. How you doing? Yeah! Catfish, turn him on. This song was no, huge ten years ago. Yeah. Huge. Hey, 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 White hey, hey, Reggie. Hey, 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 Louisiana Lane. Plus, they kept redoing it every season for a while. You've got the Giants. You've got the Jets. You've got half of Ellis Island. Hey, Jersey, can we keep the Yankees? How you doing? Hey, Atlanta. Oh, chop this. There's only one team in the 90s. The Yankees. So how you doing? Yeah, then it goes with all the I mean, current players of the Yankees that year. So we played it out here. You want to hear more? How you do? I mean, I like the song a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pop it back up for the big uh, for the big closer. <laughs> hey, Joe Bulls, you got the tickets? No, 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 I don't got the tickets. She got the tickets. No, I don't have the tickets. You don't let me carry them no more. Don't you remember? Game six, ninety six. I lost them. Right, that's right, I put a cool dick. All right, I got the tickets. How you doing? How you doing? What jersey are you going to wear? I don't know. I think about wearing my Gita jersey. The only problem is the girls don't leave me alone. Uh, see, my Nablock jersey's dirty. My Jimmy Davis is dirty. My Soho's a mess. I don't know. Why do you wear Coney's jersey? Are you nuts? He's pitching tomorrow. Going local with the Metro car thing. I, I, I one question right off the bat. Were yeah, they going sure. for the laugh? I don't know. Were they going for a laugh there? I for don't, real? I don't think so. I think I I don't know what to think. I'm stunned. I believe they were trying to create an anthem and they were successful in that. I'm stunned by that whole thing. To me, um that is to Italians what 
eat that watermelon or whatever that. <laughs> uh, eat that. that well, yeah. Well, yeah. That. But, but that song, I think, uh, was embraced by everyone. The, Yan the Yankee organization, because I think they actually played it at games. Yeah, they played it in a stadium. You know, you, and, doing? you know, your team that doesn't like all that gimmicky stuff. I do believe they might have embraced that gimmicky song for a while. Stuff is one thing. <laughs> Horrid songs. I, I think that was played at Yankee Stadium, but I'm not sure. We're gonna have to get a hardcore fan that, to call in and let us know. That do they play that at the stadium, man? Do you know? Yeah, I, I do remember them playing at least a piece of that. You doing? How you doing? That watermelon, eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon. Yeah, yeah. Sure is good. That watermelon, eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon. Sure is good. <laughs> and they all eat watermelon too. <laughs> No. Eat that watermelon. No, eat that what? watermelon. No, they don't. That no. is exactly what that was, as far as like Italian goes. How you? Yeah, hey, come and move. <laughs> uh, oh. We got Dan in Philly. Dan, wow. Hey guys, how you doing? Pretty good, Dan. Uh, I've been hearing you talk about douche chills for a couple of years now, and I think I just had my first one. <laughs> now you know that. what it is. Are you a Philly fan? You are. I'm a Philly fan. You uh, got it. I asked that because that we went back because that's a classic, classic awfulness. The Yankees, how you doing? Song. Yeah, you can tell yeah. by the. We're, we're about to play a brand new one by uh, by by a radio station down in Philly, my friend. So uh, yeah. So let's let's measure the douche chills and see if if they get worse as we move on here. Because that yeah, one was actually chilling. embraced by a lot of people. Oh. Yeah. Hit radio in Philly. They like their baseball team. Really, really Sam? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Well, why don't we start with the first one? It's October 09, Bad Radio in New York and Philly. They all have baseball fever. That's right. And we go down to Philly, a little station called Q102. It's like one of their hit music stations down there. Yeah, it's a big uh, top 40 station. Mm. It's like their version of Z100. Right. Is that the one with that fucking douchebag that made fun of the uh, cop uh, shootings down in Philly? I'm not sure. Someone from Philly let me know, because I'll never forget that fucking douchebag. His cue of the D was something about how many cops were shot this month in Philly. And they had a big laugh over that. Mm. Fucking assholes. Uh, Q102's Philly's going all the way to the tune of Miley Cyrus, Party in the USA. What? You get it? Party in the USA. I don't even know the original song, so maybe Travis could uh, give it's us a little good taste. Song. Miley Cyrus, Party in the USA. Do we know oh, that song? I, it's, I, a big, it's a big hit song right now. I couldn't fucking tell you. Really? No. Oh my god. It's very it's placed very high on the top twenty on twenty. Alright, here it is. A little little piece. This is the original song and then we'll play the uh Phillies going all the way. I hopped up the So Q one oh two whining <laughs> took that song and uh turned it into Phillies mm. going all the way. That's correct. And Chulawinski is down on strikes. Brad Lynch does it again. And the Philadelphia Phillies are headed to the NLCS. Hop off a plane, we in PHI. This is a baseball town, paint a red in the sky. We on a playoff run, <laughs> round one is finished. And we ain't stopping till we're done, so we gotta come with it. The fans built to the top, fans ready to rock. We ain't taking the mound, strike one out the box. A couple more till the final score reads the change. Repeat city till the broad streets ready to dance. Another parade in the stands, the world better make way. Philadelphia's dedication to HK. Make them proud with the swing of a bad citizen bank. Only place where the Phillies be at It's like that Getting close with an eye on the prize Either L.A. or N.Y. won't survive We built for this Second time on the attack The World Series Here we come Philadelphia's back I put my hands up Game coming on Can ugly score. Wow. You know, I've, I've been to a few. Uh, I, I've been to, I think, three Phillies games this past year. It's mostly a white crowd. So why are they going with, like, kind of an urban yeah. feel for their... Uh, for their song. Z26, ninth in and lights out, mean the lights out lit. Strike one, strike two. Huh? That's what the kids are listening to. Nice to see they f***ed it all up. Okay. <laughs> well, they did. Fly in Hawaiian, someone ring the bell, worth it, it never fell. The seas for a piece of a story to tell. By the time that stairs had him yelling it sounded in. You don't like that song? I don't think the white boys in Philly are cranking this one up there, uh, Sam. Hmm. 
Well, the black guys aren't doing it either. It's very, I mean, there's no, no hip hop guy is going to play a Miley Cyrus parody. So maybe they missed it. Yeah, that So you guys didn't um, like that one? Ah, uh, no, I, Sam. I hate it. Really? I hate that. Oh, no. This That's is going to be rough. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the Phillies go, it's not party in the USA, it's Phillies, Phillies going, going all, all the, the way. way. Gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Yes. Doesn't mean you have to make a whole song about it, just because one part of the song kind of fits. <laughs> I guess I uh, could just do the hook. Yeah, <laughs> Jay in D.C., Jay. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Just saying that is the worst piece of shit I've ever heard. Of <laughs> I love how it gets yeah. people angry. <laughs> it's, it's horrible, man. It's thanks to people like Miley Cyrus, which is real popular music. The 90s used to rock, and now thanks to these little whiny bitches, music sucks now. The 90s had their boy bands. I don't know what you're talking 90s about. Was, if you're talking pop music, the 90s was a rough time for pop well, music. All that boy uh, band crap. Uh, uh, no, man, yeah, it's getting some sense. The Half of them were homosexuals. Uh, I don't know. Singing to the young <laughs> girls, and the young girls had no idea that they were listening to homosexuals. And Lance Bass. Uh, thank you, sir. Let's go to... Ah, fuck it. Let's go to the next song. Okay. So then we move back to New York, because it's looking like a Philly fucking New York thing, right? Exactly. Our old radio station, which is now called what? 92.3 Now. Oh, all right. That's Say goodbye to Opie and Anthony. They were then. This is now. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're really getting the job done, aren't they? Yes, they are. I haven't heard fucking nothing about that station. Mm. I was listening. I see a van every once in a while at a sporting event. I was and, and you know what? Sorry, I, no, I, no, no. I, I don't mean to babble, but when you go to a sporting event, you see all the radio stations lined up with uh -huh. their shit they want to give you, which is all just crap. Yeah. And, you know, some of the New York stations do very well in those situations, and they got a nice crowd around their dumb van, right? This fucking uh, now station, I, I, they, they sit there with their hands in their pocket. No one, <laughs> no one cares enough to get free shit from this, uh, this station. I was listening to them yesterday, and one of the commercials was a commercial telling you to advertise on radio. Ah, oh, so, <laughs> oh, that's where they're at. Not oh, a good sign. Oh, and there's, it's co commercial free Mondays. Oh. I don't think that I don't I didn't haven't heard any commercials in overnight. So I was listening on the drive in this oh. morning and there was no commercials on oh. Oh. So, uh, oh that could be a problem. They also well, that was have, a good move, huh boys? No yeah. morning show, no overnight jock. Yeah, they replaced us with, they replaced us basically with nothing. Well Chunky is there. But not in the morning. No, he's mm -hmm. in the afternoons tearing it up. No, yeah. actually evenings tearing it up. Really? Yes. How many people they got following them on their Twitter page? Over 2,500. <laughs> For a radio oh, station. Oh, no. Almost. 2,500. Almost. 2,500 <laughs> people for a whole radio station? Over 2,200. Danny's right to correct me. <laughs> fucking assholes. Yeah, but, you, you guys know what you're doing job. in management. Good but, job. Fucking losers. But remember their song, uh, I'm in New Jersey, bitch. We played it on this show. No. No, no recollection from either. No. 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 What no. song? Is it a real song? No, it was like a parody of I'm in Miami, bitch, but it's I'm oh, in I New Jersey, bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's coming back to me now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this guy, his name's Fo Onassis, and obviously they just have him do What's some... What's his fucking legal name? No, I think that's his. It's Fo Onassis. His mom said, I'm going to name my kid Fo what? <laughs> Fo Onassis. No, that's not his real name. There's an apostrophe in it. Really? Well, yeah. I want to see his driver's license. Well, I don't have it, but... What, is it, what does it say in his driver's license? Fo Onassis? Probably Tom fucking... <laughs> yeah. King... <laughs> but um, the thing is, he did this one too. So obviously, they just get phone asses as their go-to guy All right. for uh, for a good well, for a good parody song. Well, there's a bunch of Yankees songs this year, in, and uh, this is one that's trying to become the song as the Yankees try to yeah, because they're World Series thing. They're all trying to be the next. How you doing? Ha, how you doing? And ninety two three now is literally playing this. I got a text that said. You gotta grab this song. I just heard about it. I put on 92.3 now, and I only had to wait 15 minutes before the song and came it, out. It it's on awesome. all the time. Uh, the Flea wants in. The Flea. Yeah, hey, what's up? What's up, Flea? 
Uh, I just wanted to tell uh, Anthony, uh, it, uh, I tried to call him about this a couple days ago. My sister just showed me the, the Miley Cyrus video for that song, the Party of the USA thing. Yeah. It is, it should be illegal. I thought <laughs> Anthony would really, really like it. Well, cue it, that up, Dan. <laughs> it, it's basically like a 16-year-old uh, uh, chick with her, uh, she's basically dancing around in her underwear. I thought you would really, really like oh. that. <laughs> well, you thought yeah. correct, sir. <laughs> And maybe you could invite her over and hide her in your closet. And Miley yes. is one of these Disney girls, right? Not anymore, really. Yeah, no. well, she's out. Who's she work for shit. now, corporate wise? I mean, she's doing her own thing. She's got some record label her, behind her. Her pimp, her. her father. Jesus, her fucking well, cut off shorts are right up to the, where the the lips start. That's, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Holy she works shit. for the same company. And and she walks around like she's early 20s but how old is she now i mean maybe 16 seven, 17, 17 yeah, finally? she's probably around 17 yeah. she's fine now totally legal in new york well she works for the same parent company as steve phillips so you know it's all good it's all good look at that yeah, yeah she's got little fucking yeah, she's shorts right. on anyway. uh, so, fuck i didn't mean to do that but oh. i thought you were done wow all right why don't we go to the first yankee song trying to become the song tic tac and the freak show was playing this yesterday afternoon who the fuck are they? <laughs> Tic Tac and the Freak Show. Tic Tac and oh, I... who the fuck is Tic Tac and the Freak Show? <laughs> That's the afternoon. You know, guys. I'm but you something. can't call yourself the Freak Show <laughs> when regular radio won't let you do anything. Yeah, how freaky are they? Yeah, getting? what is he? What's the freakiest the Freak Show gets? Well, the big advertisement yesterday, the big uh, texting thing, because they always want you. Ninety two three now is all about having you text them. If you text Tic Tac and the Freak Show yesterday, he'll text you back with the link. Of how you can listen to this song <laughs> okay, <come on. laughs> after they played it, Sam. I'm trying to be a better listener for real. Okay, I I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 no, I'm not even trying to make a, a joke. Okay, what did you what did you just try to say? Well, Tic Tac and the Freak Show. Right, I still have you. Right, I yeah, I understand that part. <laughs> okay, I still have you. And and I asked you the Freak Show. What does he do? That's freaky. That his name is Freak Show. And this and you're this, giving me an example. Right? Their big promotion yesterday was since they were hyping up this faux Nasus Yankees song. Okay, he said he's all he wants people to text him. That station is all about the texting. Well, they're trying to they're trying to be all. Involved with new media, right? And then in their asshole. in their PowerPoint shows, they could say we got ten thousand texts last week. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, yes, but uh, to advertise. <laughs> you can't if you if it, new media doesn't matter if you're still if your product is just shit. Right, exactly. It doesn't matter. But so he said the big thing was if you text Tic Tac, he'll text you back with a link of where you can go to listen to the song that they're playing on the radio on your computer. And that's what that would be the incentive to text. Uh, I saw I saw Opie get lost again <laughs> near the, near the end. I actually, so yeah, near the end. The incentive to text so you can listen on the computer to the song that you listen to but on the that radio. That just seems like too much work. But also, why isn't the fucking Tic Tac Freak Show guy? <laughs> is it the same guy? <laughs> Tic Tac and the Freak Show. <laughs> so his first name is Tic Tac. His last name is the Freak Show. No, no, no. His name is Tic Tac, and he is presenting the Freak Show. Who's the Freak Show? Is it well, it's Tic Tac. <laughs> it is, right? Yeah. I, see, that's why I was making his, a joke. His interns. I mean, I, yeah. So he doesn't even really have an actual freak show? No, he doesn't have much of a cast of characters. There's not a huge budget for the freak show. <laughs> and but by the way... Uh, Tic Tac is holding it down. By the way, Coke Logic writes, 92.3 Now only has 531 more followers than me, and they're a radio station in a major market. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a major market. Actually, it would be the number one. The number one The major market. market. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, that's wonderful, Sam. So here's the song. Here comes, uh, here come the Yankees by Bo Nassis. It's what? not technically. It sounds like a ripoff of Jay Z's "Run This Town" to me, but it's not technically a parody song. It's not. Is that uh, the song where he's got a uh, hundred problems? <laughs> but the bitch ain't, ain't one. Oh, you're thinking of ninety nine problems. Oh, yeah. ninety nine problems, but the bitch ain't. Is it that Billy Joel song he redid? No, that is. He right. didn't do a Billy Joel song. He did a song called "Empire State of Mind." Oh, I thought it was. We but, didn't start the motherfucking fire. <laughs> no, yo. none of these songs no. that you just listed have anything to do with this. Oh, song. okay. Yeah. Did uh, Jay Z ever pay little little Annie Hall f or not Annie Hall? Fucking little Annie for that fucking rip off in that other song? Uh, there's no rip off. If, if hard knock life. Yeah, the hard he knock. He sampled life. hard knock life, and I'm sure whoever owns the rights to that music was paid in full. They got paid. What I'm about, sure. They what did. about little Annie? Did she get?
get a little piece? <laughs> I don't know. Because yeah. that was a big hit song for Jay-Z. I don't know if Annie... Will Annie get a little piece when she fired her little lugs? She probably did not own the rights to the music and therefore would not be... Part yeah. of the profit. Jay Z is a ripoff artist. He's man. not a ripoff really artist. Because I heard Ninety Nine Problems with the Bitch Ain't One was done by somebody else too. The title is the same. Of what? This of another is rap from song. Fucking Annie. It's redoing. How is he getting paid to just just play the Annie song? He's not. He's he's sampling it. No, I that hear. Isn't a sample. This, this is Annie. Song. Listen. I guess that's supposed to make it better. No, because in Annie it was never that. Uh, uh, uh. No, there's no bass line. There's no bass line. He got paid big because he could add to the. Uh, 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 this this is, like, it sounds like Vanilla Ice explaining how his riff was different than Cream. No, yeah. <laughs> because Vanilla Ice actually ripped that off and didn't pay anybody. Jay Z paid to sample. How do you know? Because he said it. I mean, Jay Z would have been under serious lawsuits. Why does he have to rip off the Annie song when he could just come up with a, uh, an original song? He's he has to come up with many original songs. I'm not a big fan of the sample there, Sam. Why? That's, that's how hip hop started. I think that's it's cheating. More than a sample. J hip hop started with rapping over other people's records. Sample is taking a beat uh, from something. Or that this is the whole song. It's yeah. just the hook. But I worry, like one which is the one. entire hook for the song. Yeah, that's like right. They sampled the hook. The sun will come out tomorrow, but your bottom dollar that tomorrow, come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow. That would be a good sample. Was tomorrow. See, they couldn't do it because it's always the other way. Like right. that's that's like using that. He also sampled uh, "I Do Anything" from Oliver. Really? Uh, well, that's that's a lesser really? known song, but it's really right, good. Too, too much Jay Z info. All right, we gave you your time. Thank oh, you. Enough with you and your dumb Jay Z Fuck thing. Him. Uh, 90, <laughs> so there. So our <laughs> old station, which is what is our old station now? Nine two three. Exactly. Oh really? Uh oh. <laughs> yes. What I do? Correct. Our old station is now. Now. Okay. Nine two three. Now. Here's their Yankee song. They're trying to shove down their listeners' throats. <laughs> Here come the Yankees. I want to take this time, tell my Yankee fans stand up. Goodbye, Tory. Hello, Girardi, ever. Now we got better. Added up to Sarah. Well, CC's a bad deal. You better get your best feet up. All right. Please salute Alita. Cause now Devin Jeter made a born again believe it. Oh, yeah. Now we can reach for the start. Follow dreams in our hearts. Uh -huh. I don't know what they're saying. Hey, you just missed. You're about to miss saying. a really good line. My favorite. I, I don't I, know what they're it's saying. Very hard Sam. to understand. Feeling hip hip. What would you say generally? I would hooray. Say hip hip, Jorge. Have you heard this song? <laughs> oh my God! No way. Jump all day, hip hip, Jorge. Like the best feet You're not gonna. That's it. Yeah, that's it for that one. How about I the mean, stadium next to me was sold? All right. To, what, Anthony? <laughs> what? You're getting carried away. That, I think that would be a Jesus. good one. <laughs> oh, they ripped off "You Spin Me Round." That's a big hit song now. They didn't rip it off. It was sampled. No, it's a rip off, man. 
No, they're they're. If you're supposedly an artist, uh, you know, you, you could like come up with some new shit. But they do come up with new stuff, and then they also take it's old stuff. It's not really coming up with new stuff when it, they're using the basic riff of a really popular song. Oh, but they're bringing it to a new audience, a new generation of people no, who will now appreciate not. Most it. of the people have no idea that. Uh, the You Spin Me Round song was, you know... You spin me right yeah. round, baby, yeah, they're round, 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 like a baby, uh, baby, round, uh, round, round, round. They're not into that nonsense. Do we have that song? You tell me that, that people are listening to this song know that it's, that this, that it's uh, from an old song. They don't know. <laughs> so I'm saying meat spin. Meat spin me round, round. 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 Meat spin me. <laughs> well, that's the song that plays when you go there. <laughs> oh, does it? Why wouldn't it? Yeah, you, yeah, be, uh, you know, you guys should talk about this with Patrice. Patrice knows so many hip hop songs uh, that have been sampled and stuff that you thought was original turns yeah. out to be old school. He blew my mind when he was doing yeah, that. Yeah, he really knows a lot. Oh yeah, of he that. did the one. Uh, yeah, you got what I need. Yeah, but need. even even you, oh, yeah, way, so much other stuff. Man, uh, it's like every classic uh, rap song. Why sampled. does every fucking like? Song just like those two songs we just listened to about the Phillies and the Yankees. Uh, yeah, it's all got to be some bad fucking hip hop R and B shit with some caterwauling bitch in the background <laughs> going <laughs> through vocal aerobics. Ah, 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 shut it! But the kids are listening to. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> kids are listening to that. Wiggers, oh. they call them. They call no. them fucking wiggers. No. Yes, they do. No, not anymore. Ah, fuck they've me. All, they've all assimilated now. Fuck What's that? they? <laughs> the children, you mean? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's, uh... No, it's exactly what I mean. I wasn't, they're all, I wasn't making it. They're all hip-hop. Uh, uh, Kristen Smithtown writes, Definitely not as good as Vinny and the Jets. <laughs> oh, that that, that's bad. an old listener right there. Vinny and the Jets. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny and the Jets. Well, nothing <laughs> ever beat Let's Go Mets Go. Well, that was a 86. terrific one. That was terrific. Let's go, let's go. Uh, Larry King wants in. Uh, Larry! Hey, guys. How important is uh, being able to understand the lyrics? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, as long as you can understand the hook, you get the message. Oh, it's not that I'm an old curmudgeon. I've always hated fucking hip-hop. I hate it! Get with it. No! You don't like a little Biggie? I hated hip-hop when I was biggie, fucking... Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. The only hip-hop I ever liked... <laughs> the only hip-hop I ever liked was fucking... Uh, NWA. NWA, Easy e fucking Ghetto Boys, because the shit was funny to listen to. You they know, just NWA. talked about smacking hoes and fucking uh, uh, fuck the police and They did their share of sampling. And fuck... Well, yeah. But you know Respect what? Yourself. It was funny to fucking no. listen to. See, what the point we're trying to make, Sam, there was a time where these artists took a, a sample, but it was very slight. You know, easy. And easy. added a little bit to the song. Now they're taking the entire fucking uh, song. But that's the way it started. Easy E was cruising down the street in his 6'4, uh, jocking the bitches and smacking the whores. That's, that's correct. Hoes, actually. But the whores. Whores. That's can, what can we he hear was a little doing. biggie? You got a little biggie for everybody? Biggie. Yeah. You don't like the biggie? You gotta like biggie. Biggie no, fucking I don't rules. like biggie. Biggie smalls make you like shit your drawers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> fucking biggie. No, I don't like biggie. That fucking biggie will get the job done. I don't like fucking Tupac. You don't what like about Tupac? California? No. That yeah. shit blows. Incorrect. All right, why don't we get back to the, uh, the baseball song? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> October, we're featuring bad uh, radio in New York and Philly as they have baseball fever. Now we got another uh, Philly song from the same dumb station, Q102, down there in Philly. Uh, you know that song, um, I Got a Feeling? Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Tonight's gonna I'll be a good night. night. Right. You know. Do you know that pop song? I fuck it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so unhappy? I you don't know that song? This I'll, shit. You don't hear pop music just... No, Here I, and there, I do. You got to know this one. Yeah, kind of gets you, kind of gets you pumped for for a new day. Yeah, because <laughs> you hear it starts building, then the hook comes in yeah, and it really you starts play going. This every morning, getting ready for that job. This could be the new intro. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the song that uh, Q102 did another Philly song too. Anthony, they changed the black eye, uh, black eyed peas. I got a feeling into. Are you ready for this? Uh oh. I got a feeling. Oh, 
So they didn't change the uh, title. But they did, my friend. They oh. did. They spell feeling P-H-E-E-L-I-N-G. <laughs> yes. Oh, like the like Phillies. The Phillies. <laughs> oh. Is it the same song? <laughs> no, no. All right. Very different. We got a feeling that this year's gonna be a good year. That this year's gonna this year, be a famous good tonight. year. <laughs> yeah. That this year's gonna be a repeat year. The Phillies. Let's repeat the feeling. Ooh, Cause this year's gonna be a good year. Good. Yes, this year's gonna be a good year. Yes, this year's gonna be a repeat year. The Phillies. I gotta turn it off, Sam. That's I, it? I, yeah, that's I, plenty. I, that's I, plenty. I, I. Goes on for Because they won last minutes. year. That's plenty for everybody. Repeat year, right. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's Let me win say it hi again. To Mac in Atlanta. Mac! Hey, Mac. What's up, Mac? Yeah, I wanted to ask Anthony. I mean, when did he switch from beer to Haterade? Yeah, oh, what is it? Oh, shit. Oh, you, you did. Damn, I'm drinking Haterade. I thought that bottle said Gatorade. Yeah. I was wrong. There's a G on here. It's not an H. There would be a big H on my bottle with a light. Somebody must have replaced it. it with some Haterade there. Because Haterade. You seem a bit on edge today. You all right there? I... What's wrong? Can't stand What's wrong? This <laughs> shit. There is just it's it's shit. Haterade is right. That caller was right on the money. Uh, this guy wants to add to that song we just heard. Dano okay. in Kentucky. Morning, fellas. Hey, Dano. Hey guys, I got a feeling this chill is going to be a douche chill. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling. <laughs> uh, let me go to Scott on Long Island. Scott. Hey boys, what's going on? Hey man. Uh, listen to that. This is going to be a good year song. I actually just threw up in my mouth. Oh, no. no. <laughs> He's vomiting. It's a song that's making people vomit. I hope everyone's okay out there. Uh, Z100, what, what have they been up to lately, Sam? Well, another great regular radio station. Yeah. Elvis Duran is still rocking and rolling in the mornings. Is he really? He's making a lot of money. They're really syndicating his show out there. Like, and every, uh, Every station that he's on, like in Philly, I think he's on a station. He's on all over the place, and he's well, advertised. What does he do that? He's on all over the place. He plays some songs and phone prank phone calls. I mean, it's not to do prank phone calls. No, so, fake prank phone calls. So if you hear prank phone calls on regular radio, please yeah, know fake. that they're not allowed to do that anymore, and it's all set up. And but fake. like every station that he's on, the station on on their website advertises it as if it's their exclusive morning show, like Philly's Elvis Duran. Or Cleveland's Elvis Duran. <laughs> it's like, it's not. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, they have a, a Yankee song. Apparently, this song is getting played in the stadium. But that's not going to stop us from herbing them up. Well, of course. Wait, this is being played at Yankee Stadium? That's what uh, E Rock Nagel So this has got to be really good. Uh, you would think. The Yankees wouldn't let shit in their stadium. Well, is it? How you doing made it to the Yankee Stadium, so. This is done to the Jay-Z song, Run This Town. Featuring Kanye West and Rihanna, of course. Featuring who? Kanye West and Rihanna? Who's Kanye? Kanye West. I think you know who he is. He's a very famous rapper, remember. producer. What oh, do you he do? is. Uh, he's done a lot. I mean, a lot of songs, both uh, hits that he's produced and rapped on. I know Rihanna got beat up. I, I well, I mean, that. she's also had yeah, a lot I'm, of hits. She got beat up by an umbrella or something. No, that was her hit song. Oh. She got beat up by Chris Brown, but she has a new song out called you know Russian Roulette. You know what? All right, well, Q1, uh, 
Z100. Oh, they're the same fucking station. No, Z100. Z100. And keep in mind, we're right in the middle of the 92.3 Now Z100 rivalry that's heating up New York City. Why are you yawning at that? Because <laughs> it's just incomprehensible, this whole thing. I, I can't take what all of these songs. Well, let's do uh, Z100's Yankees Run This Town. That's right. Key pride is in the air. Yeah. Hear fan screams from everywhere. Yeah. We're addicted to the thrill. I'm ready. And some baseball love so. affair. Mess with them, you're going down. Got a problem, so. tell me now. Postseason is Yankees time. They're so. going to run this town tonight. Her voice is average at best, but I, 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 I'm okay with the song so far. And the only reason I stop it because I know they're just going to ruin it with a lot of nonsense. That's not is Rihanna. nonsense coming up? There's some uh, rapping. And Danny, did you say it. Rihanna had a lot of hits too? I did. Sam did. Yeah, yeah, she had a ton of hits. Oh, but that's not the joke. No, 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 no. See, it would be a double entendre thing. She had right. hits. Hits. Yeah. No, I meant songs. Then it would be funny. Oh, you meant songs? Yeah. Sounding. I meant like, I was just being factual. Why would you be factual when there's a joke there? I wanted to make sure everybody was informed. And you should have then said, yeah, I, I said that because I meant, you know, when she got hit a lot. No, I didn't mean that. Oh, yeah. It's a little punchable. Yes, yes, sir. Who's gonna run this town? Yeah, yeah. 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 Can we turn this off now, Sam? Well, I feel like you haven't got given it a fair shot. I, I, there's a lot of noise going on. It's music. I love when they add, add in the players' names. Well, you got just it. the best. Yeah. And you guys are making fun of Let's Go Mets Go. Come on, <laughs> I'd rather hear that at this point. You didn't like that song? It just gets too, like, noisy. There's too much stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, it just goes to show you what a producer really does uh, to, to rap songs. Because these stink. You can't understand a word they're saying. Well, it's all fucking just... just. I mean, these aren't professional rappers talking either. Talking over each other. Steven S. wants to know, who the fuck is Babe Roof? <laughs> 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 Do they really say Babe Roof? I mean, that, he did. that's poetic license. Babe Roof. <laughs> Babe Roof. There's no roof on Yankee Stadium. No, there is not a roof on Yankee Stadium. But that's, Babe Roof. <laughs> that's poetic license. You're allowed to change words a little uh, bit. Yeah, but when you go for a fucking job interview, you can't say, I like Babe Roof. <laughs> You're not going to get the job. No, that's, wow. that's true. Who the fuck is that? That's a babe roof. <laughs> oh, oh, babe on the roof. There's <laughs> two, two girls. Hot babe sunbathing on the roof. On a roof. That's babe roof. That's a babe roof for you. Looking <laughs> very nice. All right, finally, we go to Scott and Todd. What the fuck have these two been up to since wow. we last talked? Well, we haven't uh, talked about Scott and Todd in like a year. So I figured that... Uh, they're doing uh, some better stuff now. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. you wanted to hear what, like some white people parodies. White people music, yes. And thank God Todd Pettengale is around for you to give you some white person music parodies. He is uh, the, white. The biggest hack. You think so? In all of morning zoos. He used to host WWF Mania. Yeah. Where did that get him? I mean, he he's back on the same morning show where he started. Exactly. So, in the exact same spot, except now he's not on TV anymore. And he's still <laughs> doing the show with Rocky Dennis? No, that's uh, Scott. <laughs> huh? Shannon. Rocky Dennis. No, that's I love the blind, <laughs> yeah, Scott. I love when the blind girl touched Scott Shannon's face. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are getting the two that confused. Was great. Well... A guy shouldn't be getting fucking plastic surgery. He was Most people to, shouldn't be getting fucking plastic surgery. He was supposed to go on a motorcycle uh, tour of uh, <laughs> Europe with uh, 
Todd. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, and then Todd said he couldn't make it, and he pulled the pins out of the map and started crying, and then he went to sleep and died. That's... <laughs> no, I just heard him on the air yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I think you're confused with somebody else. Sorry. And, 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 right. and when you smile, your eyes are supposed to close a little bit. They don't. Well, everybody's no. built differently. They, they don't with this Scott Shannon. It's creepy. His eyes are wide open, wide open, and he smiles at the same time. Uh, yeah. All right. You want to hear their white boy song? This will end this uh, oh. dumb bit. Let's go Yanks to the tune of Bon Jovi's It's My Life. See, Bon Jovi. Now uh, that is a white singing? artist. Who's singing, Todd? Who do you think? Who always sings these? Oh, Todd. Mr. TP, Todd Pettengale. Proving. He's about to prove. I swear to you, I haven't heard this song yet. I, I, I'm confident enough to say he's about to prove why he's the biggest fucking hack in morning zoo radio. Watch it. it. Scott and Todd is the longest running uh, continuous he's the New York radio show. He's the king show. of something that Anthony brought to the table, the shoehorning of lyrics. Shoehorn it in. Meaning you push a little too many syllables in, in your song parody. Yeah, and you put the accent on the wrong syllable so it fits in. That's uh, basic shoehorning. Here, Here we go. Let's go, Yanks, to the tune of Bon Jovi's It's My Life. Oh. oh my God! What's wrong? What's what? Top paying Gail. We should Scott cut our Tom. losses and just stop right here. You know that, right? You think so? Yes. Why don't we finish what we started? Here's Jeez. something: when you're doing a song parody, you should sound like the original artist. Uh, uh, let's start there. At least let's start a little there. bit. Uh, that sounded nothing like, <laughs> like John Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Right, back to, uh, what's his name, Todd? Todd Pengale. Todd doing a, a horrendous version. I don't like. A horrendous mm. uh, imitation of Bon, John Bon Jovi. Yeah. He's done it again. It's time to finish what they oh. started. Okay, what happened? A perfect example of the shoehorning, by the way. <laughs> he added a million sy syllables to October and, and I mean, night. It's now or never. Doesn't work with mid October. I'm going back. I, 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 listen again. It's so night mid October. <laughs> we won't be happy till it's over. And we have another flag to fly. What happened? Oh, Danny passed gas. <laughs> I'd made, rather hear that. that. song made Danny fart. Quick, quick, sample that and make a song out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to a rap artist. He'll do something with that, Sam. That's oh, horrendous. He thought, stinks. Why are they doing this? Guy this guy sucks. And I thought you were a Yankees fan. Why would they do this? Yeah. yeah. You, there's your white boy song. You said there's not enough white boy songs. Well, perhaps I uh, can say I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> I think that was the worst one right there. 
That's where I stayed it for the end. That's Scott and Todd. And why is Todd frosting his hair? What's that about? Stay young. Stay looking hip. Keep the girls <laughs> interested. <laughs> it's a middle-aged <laughs> man frosting his hair. That's yeah. The girl. Oh, the girls don't know oh, that. Yeah. They look really? at the head of hair and really? say, "Man, look at this young." He's frosting together. his hair, and then and fucking who knows what Scott's doing <laughs> to his face? I would assume it's Botox or something. Well, that's how they keep the young demo. You know. All the kids are listening to Scott and Todd, no oh, doubt about are. it. <laughs> yeah. Scott has a frozen face and Todd is frosting his hair. <laughs> yeah, man. Ugh. It's cool. It's 2001. People are still doing that, you know? 2001? Is it not? Oh. Uh, <laughs> is that when people were frosting their hair? Yeah, that was the big year for... Yeah, it was about 2001. Hair the hair frosting. frosting. Yeah. Mm. All right. I don't even know wow. what to say about that one. That was so bad. You can't even... I don't know. What no, happened? no, that's that's just awful. Well, the thing is, I recorded a whole Scott and Todd show, and like you'd think, like on this show, if one of us did a song parody, you play it once, mm -hmm. maybe twice. Yeah. Later in the show, and you know that's it because you have so much stuff to get to. This song was played at least three times in a single hour. No what? way. Yeah, this song that you just heard that you could not even play once because you felt it was so bad for the medium of radio that it would be harmful to your listener base. They played three times in one hour. That's how, because they feel like, you know, when they play uh, uh, Miley Cyrus song or something like that, they, they put it in heavy rotation, and that's what makes it popular. Yeah. But uh, with a parody song, not so much. They don't put these songs on their website either, because they think people probably want to steal them. <laughs> what, they're going to try to make money off wow. that horseshit? Other radio shows might want to latch on to the Scott and Todd Parody songs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do they put the call letters in the middle of the song so you can't fucking burn it from the not if the you radio? Just record oh, their God, radio stream. Yeah. C one hundred was doing that to that uh Yankee song on their website. What? Putting the Z one hundred on it. That's why I had that. gonna fucking these oh, the other radio shows will steal it and uh they're delusional. Why would you on steal their show? They say that that song is played in Yankee Stadium. That Z one hundred parody song. Right. That's what they say. Well, but, there you go. There's your Jocktober yes. for today. A little different uh, take on the whole thing. Yeah. I'd rather listen to a hole and a guy that sound like they're married or something. I actually found a show like that we could highlight on Monday. Oh, you did? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's like a girl and a guy. You'd think they were married, but... What uh, city are we uh, going to? I don't know. I mean, it's the last week of Jocktober next week. Boo. You have Let's Go, so, Let's Go. Ooh. Uh, oh, I want to hear a little. This let's actually go. sounds good after listening to the rest of that crap. This is so bad. Rock. Yes, the pendulum is swinging back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got that fucking hair band sound to it. I like when they talk about players. White people music. So corny. This is a song they would play for a montage. Yeah. In the late 80s. Yeah. A movie. Yeah. This could be in Scarface. Alright, no. We get the point. No one is immune to the bad sports song. We're gonna take a break. Patrice O'Neill sitting outside that studio. Let's get him involved with the program. We'll break and uh, and we'll continue. You got that Norton thing? I think we're going to break with that Norton thing. Don't forget, Norton's playing Buffalo tonight. I'm not sure if both shows are sold out. I really don't Buffalo. know. Buffalo. I'm sure we'll have info somewhere on this channel today. Yes. If they're not, they will be. That's right, Sam.